Hello and welcome back to UIE TV. Earl Cameron, one of the first black actors to forge a successful career in British film and television, has died aged 102, his family has confirmed. Bermuda born Cameron, who lived with his wife in Kenilworth, Warwickshire, died in his sleep on Friday. Cameron first appeared on screen in the 1951 film Pool of London, in a rare starring role for a black actor. His family said he was an inspirational man who stood by his moral principles. Cameron was appointed commander of the Order of the British Empire CBE, in the 2009 New Year Honours. His other screen credits include 1965 Bond movie Thunderball and Doctor Who. His family said they have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and respect they have received. As an artist and actor he refused to accept roles that demeaned or stereotyped the character of people of color, they added. He will be very sadly missed. Actor David Harewood called Cameron a total legend. Bermuda premier David Burt tweeted, I am deeply saddened to hear of the passing of iconic Bermudian actor Earl Cameron. Patterson Joseph, who recently starred as Kamal Hadley in the BBC's Knots and Crosses series, said Cameron was a giant man, whose pioneering shoulders are what my generation of actors stand on. Artistic director Sir Matthew Bourne, said he was a groundbreaker with a great legacy. Family friend Martin Beckett said, He's a great character, very spiritual, very modest, we're going to miss him. He would never take on roles that demean people of color. Cameron also starred alongside Nicole Kidman and Sean Penn in the 2005 film The Interpreter. One of his final acting credits was for a small part in the 2010 film Inception, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Ellen Page. Speaking to the BBC as he turned 100, Cameron said he wanted to see more black actors in roles. He said, there's a lot of talent out there and I think the British film industry would prosper by using more black talent. Cameron joined the British Merchant Navy and arrived in the UK in 1939. He told the Royal Gazette he made his debut in the chorus of Chu Chin Chow, a West End show, when he was working as a dishwasher at a restaurant, and they needed someone quickly. Thanks for watching UIE TV. Please like and subscribe our channel. Goodbye.